Dead Diary Episode 2. So it's not going to look an awful lot like stuff has changed here. But I do have a score. And she's got strawberries she can eat. Her favourite. I've also been working on animations. So I've got walking. Little ponytail bobs about a bit. Her arms are swinging. Um, and one that I'm... The one I'm most pleased with animation wise is falling. But uh, some of the additions are not without bugs. Um, I did redo the collision detection with uh, an entirely different bitmap. So um, rather than the points checking for colours on the actual bitmap that you can see here, there is another bitmap that you never see um, that's just a copy of uh, where the blocks are, but in uh, you know much much reduced bit bit plane depth to save on some memory. Um, and then I've just plotted boxes to the same coordinates that the that the blocks are at on the main bitmap uh, in a in a single color, so that I can much more consistently check the collisions. I do need to implement um, collision detection for when you're walking the other way, but that should be easy to do. It will just take me a, a few lines of writing. Um, but yeah, happy, much, much happier with the collision detection now. The What are the problems I'm having? Well, as you can see, as I'm walking around and jumping to where the strawberries were, the collision detection for picking up the fruit still increments my score, even though the strawberries are no longer there, which is a problem. Um, I have done it the easy way with um, with the uh, collision detection for the strawberries. So I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, Right, so I've got new type dot fruit, um, which has an x coordinate, a y coordinate, and an exist, which I did try as a boolean, uh, but I've, I've changed it to a one and a zero, just to see if that made any difference. Uh, and then I've got an array somewhere. Yes, yummies dot fruit, uh, which stores all the locations of. The, the, the strawberries and they're all set to exist to begin with and then we go down they're not on the collision map because their collision detection I thought I tried doing it within blitz to make use of the array to make it nice and easy so there's the collision detection for the Lego blocks and here is the collision detection for the strawberries so if um, the appropriate frame of Shea, Freya shape at Freya's X and Y coordinates comes into contact with shape number 15 which is a strawberry at the coordinates um, for each strawberry in this loop then that strawberry's exist parameter equals zero I have tried that as a true and false as well like I said and score equals score plus 10 to give you 10 points for eating a strawberry. All fine and good, all works, but for some reason this shapes hit still triggers even when the Freya shape hits these coordinates but that shape doesn't exist. So I don't know if it's a, a bug with the way shapes hit works or maybe I'll have to rewrite this manually, but if I have to rewrite this manually then I won't necessarily be able to make it easily tie in with each individual strawberry in the array. Um, I'm not sure how that would work. Because um, of course then if I show you then how the strawberries are drawn, go down to my drawing section of the, the double buffering. They, it uses um, buffered blitting and it uses the same buffers as the Freya shape does to tie in with the, the vertical refresh and the way the double buffering is working. So 
when we get to the draw part of the loop, uh, we draw the appropriate Freya shape. Um, there's a little extra shape that gets drawn on top if she's falling down to that's got her ponytail poking up, which goes taller than the original shape would have done. Um, then we get to the, the fruit. So draw the fruit if they're not eaten. So if um, yummies uh, exists, draw it. If it doesn't exist, it doesn't draw it. So if it doesn't exist, it doesn't draw it. Therefore, shape number 15 isn't at that spot that the collision detection is checking for. So the collision detection will say, well, it should say, um, this shape is not coming into contact with this shape at this coordinate. But it is actually detecting that they do come into contact, even though the shape has not been drawn there. It just previously was drawn there. So not sure what's going on with that. Going to have to investigate further. And as I said, the other thing I've added is this collision map. Uh, and that literally I created a bitmap called bitmap4 up here in, in my initialized statement. That's the same size as the level bitmap, uh, but only two bit planes instead of five. Um, let me go down to my collision map statement and that just uses bitmap4, goes through a loop and draws a box wherever there should be a block. And then go back to collision detection uh, and that switches out of the du double buffering bitmap stuff uh, by using bitmap4 and then it just checks those points on the other bitmap. And never has to draw a Freya shape on that bitmap because it just knows where she is because of the X and the Y coordinate. Anyway, thanks for watching again. See you next time.